All right, fellow YouTubers, we have the second generation Honda Pilot with no information, especially the navigation. Had the factory camera, had the factory, had the factory amplifier. We had to custom mount this thing. Look how nice this thing looks. And this thing works flawlessly. Perfect dash kit, all handmade. And we're going to show you what three weeks and a whole lot of time, a whole lot of headaches has brought to us. And we're going to start in three, two, and... First things first, let's turn off the... Okay, this is the third take, fourth maybe. I've had this truck for six days now. And what I just found out is that I have to keep the factory navigation plugged in to get audio, which we have here. Can't do that, but we're getting rid of her. Here's what we're putting in for you Honda Pilot fans. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And it's going to go right there. Custom dash kit, custom mounting. I got to put a whole new system in. I already ran the factory camera. I don't care about the code. So... As you see, I already started. These suck, you gotta put them in gear. If I have to show you this, don't even bother watching the rest of the video, because it's way too much. So we're gonna take everything apart. I already started. One. We are now making progress. Progress is good. He even has a center channel. I don't want to keep that. But maybe I will. Because the radio is going to be right there. So the idea is now. Take all of it apart. We need you. So there was two screws right here. And this puppy just pops upward come on come on puppy there you go now during this duration you cannot unplug an airbag harness while the car is running and do not start it with it unplugged so now here's the test we need you we don't need this we need this so I'm going to mount everything to this. So, concept is, we remove this, and now we have a guide. All right. And with that out of the way, we put this back in, and now we have to fit that make it sit properly while having a big ass radio right here I am pumped gonna be kind of far but I'm gonna try to get it here hopefully I can cover all that I likey likey Dominic I'm sorry I'm taking another week you told me I had to uh, I have Full reign to have another week with this truck. So we gotta do it right. So, why, why? What, what, what? Gift wrapping? Did you, did you forget? That was 25 minutes. So, to tease you if you've come this far, this is what we're doing. We're gonna put this big puppy right there. I likey. I likey likey. So, we gotta go far enough back. This thing swivels and tilts. We gotta figure out where we're gonna put her and how. 
So let's start working. Let's put this in a safe place. Back seat's fine. <laughs> we got to see if I can cut that so I can get a little bit more depth inside. I want it a little bit further back. It's hitting. When we're done, let's hope we mount her right side up. So let's go. That was eight minutes. Maybe six. Dremel. Sorry, Dominic. It's got to go. Little off the top. I'm going to keep this because this I'm going to reuse for my new one. Ooh, it's screwed in. Mine's going to be taped. Well, not mine, but Dominic's. So we got a cut. Let's get him out of the way. Let's remove. There's the doctor in the house. Don't go too far. You see, you can put your finger in there. That's what we're going to do straight across. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Nice. I'm done with that. That's too loud. So, I'm going to really use a sharp razor and do it this way. Doesn't all have to be the same way. You can go get a butter knife. I don't care. You got a nice... What are those, what are those chef knives? Come on. Come on. My God. Now we have room. Get back in there. No one needs to see you. Go away. Go away. So, let's try this puppy again. Upside down. This cable any thicker. Look at this thing. This is what you gotta do. You gotta fight for your rights. All right. Is this big enough? Do we have enough? See, here's the good part. I can put this all the way on the bottom. And I can just leave the radio sit like this. I like that. And since I cut all the room back there. Yeah. And. I can probably get away. Mmm, that might be tough, kid. Mmm, the gears are turning. But you ain't doing this, Mr. Steve. I like that, but... We might have to turn that ABS. Uh, 
heat gun. I think that's what I'm going to have to do. Update. Probably 18 hours now. Like, I can't stand my hands too cold. So, new antenna in. GPS. I told you I'd use a factory spot. Microphone in. I told you I'd use a mic. I told you I'd use a factory spot. It's like, it's right there. We have found out that we have everything we need and I said to myself wait a minute why would I use this because you see how we hit power let's see let's see what we got going on here if we go like this okay okay the radio stays on it shows you all the display well if you lose the radio heat stays but no display which I want to keep. Works whenever it wants to work. Do that works. Come on. Anyway. So, I'm going to keep her plugged in. And I said to myself, okay, how do I turn on the factory amplifier? Well, this wire needs to be grounded, which is the brown next to the yellow and brown. And the pink one needs to get a power turn on. But I said to myself, wait a minute, isn't it easier if I just keep the radio in? Because I need to, I want the display to work. So I'm just gonna jump everything, cut the speakers away from the factory radio. So unlike my older one, the unlike the factory radio would be the volume, this will work with the new radio. That's what I want because we're putting in new speakers, new subwoofer. All RCAs are going in the back. Here's your TV. So I already tried this. This is useless. All it's going to give me is where everything is. So I'm going to cut it away from the factory radio and extend it with. Good thing I never throw anything away. This is from Parrot, the Bluetooth company. Look, it gives you everything. Look at this. I don't even care what side it is. So I'm going to extend it with that, and let me wire that so we can see what's going on. Power and everything. I'm going to use all the color, same colors and extend them. All right, yeah. All right, so I looked up the wire color for reverse, and I'm going to test this. It said orange in the fuse box. Let's try and do this and see if we can actually do this. We're gonna shove her up in there. Let's see what we got. We got ground. That's a good sign. I'm gonna do this with my hand on my phone. All right, we got ground. We're gonna put it in reverse. And that puppy went 13 volts. Oh yeah. So there you go, you got reverse. See that? My finger, my finger. See that? 13 volts. Put it in park. Right to green. All right, yeah. That is an update. Moving on. Update. 45 minutes have gone by. And I found this. I found Mr. Purple. He is 13.9. That's good. But, how do I shut it off? Let's see. Let's see if I can do this. Watch this. Nope, didn't work. I gotta put you down. All right. Keys off. We got ground. All right, yeah. Now, go on over to the white. We got 12.6 when the car is off. Perfect. That is going to be for my Pioneer. We'll buy a navigation screen. See you in heaven. Moving on. We'll do it this angle. I cut them away from the radio. Just tape them off. I didn't want to waste more plastic. Do we even need to, really need to waste more plastic? So, capped it all off. This power, power, uh, amplifier, amplifier. That's right. Amp turn on. Okay, cut that. I made it come off of this one. I want this radio to be my 
amp turn on, not this radio. Because if this radio feeds audio, this one, this one, this one. If this one feeds audio, if this is powered up, there could be a timing issue and it'll pop. We don't want that. So we want the main unit to be the one to give us um, power and audio at the same time. So that's what, that's what this is, these all are. Speakers, I cut them away, splice them in together. My illumination, so this can dim. My battery, so this can keep memory. And now we're going to start putting this guy to get back together. And see what we look like. So let's go. All right, so here's the update. Here's about a month and a half later. And what we're having issues with is sound. It's too loud. Too loud, too fast. So what we're going to do is I used the regular speaker outs to, to feed the amplifier. And I'm going to switch it to the low voltage. So we're going to switch these to RCA and give the factory amplifier the low signal, not the high. So let's do that. Okay, so for about 10 minutes, I took the uh, regular speaker output. No good. Let's see if this solves the problem. I had these from JBL, I think I got them. I just converted to RCA. Now we're just going to do color code to front and rear, which is right here. So let's do white is... Front right, let's see, let's rear, front, and red is right. So let me plug these guys up, and I'll uh, be back. All right, whites are front right, gray is front left, green is rear right, and I'm sorry, rear left, and purple is rear right. Right, right. So let's plug her back in, put the radio back up, and see, see what's going on. Update, update, update. It did work. So what was happening was when this puppy came on, right around, right around the time it booted, we would have a white noise because the output was very high. And so now it's gone. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. So RCA's did it. Gotta do the RCA's, not the high voltage. So there you have it. Okay, so this is not part of the deal, but this is what happens when you're distracted. I left the keys right there on the chair, on the seat, and the fucking car is locked. So you've got to be kidding me. Yep. Fun stuff on the job. So, got a ladder. I try to break in with some wire. Old school way. That's what we're gonna do. So, let's get to it. You see that? Tell me you don't see that. See it's higher over here and lower over there? I guess I'm making number seven, aren't I? You see that? Look. That's a naked eye, you can see that. It's bigger over here, this gap right here from the screen to the green. And from the screen to the green. I swear that was straight. That's gotta come down a hair and grow up a hair. You gotta be kidding me. That's number seven. Uh, and everything is done! Amazon. Probably need the whole thing on it. Oh yeah. Damn it. Cut away from you. Think on your own. Doyle. That's actually what the, uh, that's what the, uh, tire was, uh, meant to be anyway. 
That's what, that's what it stood for. Okay. This is going to suck. Boo! Boo! You had true love and you gave it away. Easy. Easy. Do 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 do. do. You know, I should get a scissor. Yep, I'm gonna go get a scissor. Whee! A big one too. Scissor, Amazon. No, Home Depot, it's Husky. So, back to One's better. Which one's better? That is almost beautiful. That's almost a beautiful thing right there. This is gonna be black on black. That is going to be, which one's better? I think this one's better. See, I gotta add that back in on this side. Come on, man. over there. Yes, sir. We have to go get our cameramen. Until next time. I don't know. Why is it
rusty. Who knows? So, I think this is perfect. It's a 16 inch. So, what we're going to do, I already marked it. Maybe I should mark it here too. That's where we're going to fold.
you don't have this, anything straight. Come on, Jit. You done yet or what? Ooh, we got a line. We got a line forming. Look at that. You want to be gentilly. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. It's getting there. It's getting there. Dominic radio's going in today. Eh, listen, I can go a hair more, and I think I'm going to. That's better. We like that. And now it goes in. I have lost count how many times. Not that I was really counting. But, moment of truth. Here she is. Ah, hot glue. It's fine. Nice and strong. So let's start plugging in. I'm too big for this, so I have to Can't find the hole, can you, Russ? Nope. Okay, we're gonna do it this way. Most of everything will reach. GPS, check. Wired remote, check. USB-C, you're waiting. I want you to break. Microphone, check, check. Antenna, where are you? Antenna, where are you? I see you, antenna. Sub is already done, check. USB-C, you're going to be plugged in with four power.
and now we got power. Okay, so for the one crazy guy who I told no one has ever let me do this. I've been wanting to do this for a while. You know how many cars don't have a double din in this pilot? That is a common issue in the aftermarket world. Now that, ladies and gentlemen, was a fight to the death. I'm pretty sure I fucking won, too. Now let's see if the fucker works. Nope. Nope. Do you see that? Do you see why I'm saying nope? The car itself is crooked. That's pretty loud, man. Turn that down. Let's see what's going on here. Temporary housing when they move to a new location uh, until they found, find that does. Holy Moses! We got we got to troubleshoot the amp. We don't have a clock yet. I don't know why, but I don't care. We know what I need though. Is this noise off? Oh, Nike's demo mode off. Camera settings. We want them on. On now, we did install a camera too. Let's go see Amazon Alexa setting. What the hell? When did that start? <laughs> Pandemic really put a damper on when we uh, I 856. No, I wish it was 856. It'd still be high right now. Uh, 11. 11. 57. Well, I guess we're at UTC five hours. Done. Now, we got to play with the sub. Let's make sure the radio works. I mean, the camera. Let's see. Holy Moses. Oh my god, did you see that? Oh my god, do you see that? Wow, that's amazing.